What's up YouTube, this is Butter from Boot and Butter, and today I thought we'd mix it up and do a Let's Play video. We're gonna do an actual series on Black Desert Online. Uh, this will be part one, and we'll be bringing you multiple parts in the future. Let's go ahead and jump in. I've already made a character, because I've heard character creation in this game is pretty intense. And I didn't want to spend an entire video just on character creation alone. It took me about 40 minutes just to make a character. Uh, there's so many character creation options in this game, it's ridiculous. central city of trading. Back when ships from Valencia would anchor in Nauru, children would greet the merchants and fireworks would light the skies. Nauru was a thriving city of sailors and merchants, and crowded areas were guarded by mercenaries. Little did they know what had arrived. Could any of these people know of the Elysian Stone? It is the mythical stone of the ancient civilization, but the dark power it possesses has been hidden by that very civilization. At last, the Elysian was uncovered. A mysterious black smoke rose up over the ridge. It seemed to know exactly where it was headed. To Goma Naru. The Elysian Stone reverberated. People started to disappear all across Goma Naru. In the end, there was no one left, and that day was soon forgotten. Alright, so we've, we've woken up from our little dream and we're a little drunk. Our little black spirit that's like inhabited our mind is going to walk us through the tutorial it looks like. Let's see, basic movement so far. Move your mouse around to look around. A unique thing about this game that made me want to try it out so bad is actually the combat system. Uh, the combat system is one of those that I've just never seen before in an MMO. <laughs> Clicking your mouse buttons kind of just swings your weapon. And then pushing combinations of keys on your keyboard is how you're going to use your skills. There's still the standard like one through zero hotkeys or whatever but pushing like say s and f together on your keyboard would use a skill or say uh, s and left mouse click would use a skill i'm sure we'll see that here in a little bit after this little tutorial push an r to interact you wanted me to grab one of these potions, it looks like. He wants us to go talk to Aiken. And we're gonna follow this blue path to our next quest area. 
I'm gonna kill this. I really just kill one mob and gain a level? Okay. This seems like I gained a level for each mob that I just killed. They seem like little weakling bug things. What the hell even is that guy? A reindeer? It's a reindeer, man. So if you guys couldn't already tell, I decided to make a witch. Uh, basically the female component of the wizard, from what I could tell. And, uh... I'm liking it so far with the uh, the fireball skill and the like magic the arrow type of skill. So far, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, you have a staff, and then you pull out a quick little dagger for a quick little dagger strike. Nice to meet you. I'm It seems this game is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh god, it's trying to give me a tutorial instead of a tutorial. This looks like your daily login bonus. So each day you log in consecutively, you get a better reward, essentially. So we just collected our first day for logging in our first time. Promoted to commander by breaking bottles. <laughs> Isn't this just an excuse to drink more? <laughs> Leave Olvia to the vigilantes. The cutscenes and voice acting in this game is actually really good. And the graphics are just awesome. I'm liking it so far. Uh, we're actually using a seven day free trial offered by Black Desert. You can play the game free for seven days. And then after that, the basic package is $9.99 and you have the game for life. There's no sub fees. It's just a one time payment. And if you want, there's different packages. You can buy it for $30. And it comes with some of their cash shop essentials that they package together with the base game. Oh, it's wanting me to use a certain skill. That's what was going on there. I was like, why is this not working? Apparently this little scarecrow is immune to fire. That's cool. Oh, pressing comma calls our little black spirit friend, our little creepy, creepy shadow red eye friend over here. Shift is sprint. And it seems like we run out of breath as we're sprinting. And then she has to catch her breath so we can sprint again. That's, that's pretty cool. It's a nice little feature there. Quest accomplished. Now we're going to talk to our little creepy friend again. Alright, so he wants us to research some enemies over here, and that's nice. They actually have a little blue text over their head to tell us that that's our quest objective right now. That way we don't get mixed up with any of the other non-quest objective creatures over here. That's, that's a nice feature. And another unique thing about this game is 
quests actually aren't the way to gain XP. You actually gain X XP in this game by killing and grinding on monsters. And if you hit M and open up your map, it actually designates what area is good for your level at that point in time for you to be leveling in each zone. Just an another unique feature about Black Desert that sets it apart from other MMOs. I like it just because it's it's something different. It's not the same like every other MMO out there right now. We have to catch some more weasels. So I'm assuming by catch some more weasels, he just means go kill some more weasels. Hey? I'm still getting getting the hang of this uh, combat system. So you might see me struggling, don't worry. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Another weird thing that I think is going on here is uh, in character creation I actually made my hair brown but for some reason I guess the lighting effects or something made it red. Maybe I should have uh, there's a weather button in character creation that lets you see your character like in the sunlight. Maybe I should have pushed that button because all I did was uh, customize my character in kind of like a nighttime setting. So I think that's where I went wrong there, was just there were shadows on our hair so it looked brown and maybe I accidentally did pick like a, a brownish shade of red I guess, I don't know. But uh, it's just strange. Look at that slaughter. Just magic missiles for days over here. You like that, don't you, you creepy bastard? You like watching me kill all these poor innocent little creatures? For some reason I feel like this little black creature is just leading us wrong. He's acting like a nice tutorial guide, but he's really just brainwashing us to slaughter and massacre innocent little creatures. I mean, I could see killing these imps. They're not like innocent little weasels that are just trying to steal people's crops. Oh, I, I like that. I actually discovered a new skill there that I didn't know I had. If I dodge to the side and press left mouse button, it does like an earthquake type like smash attack. The skill animations in this game are awesome. I'm sure they only get better from here. Like if once we hit level 56 I heard there's an awakening and we get a special kind of weapon. I'm sure our skill animations will just look ridiculous by then. Um, some people get pets in this game by using the uh, cash shop feature because there is a cash shop. None of the items there give you like a huge advantage because I was looking. Uh, pets just kind of run around and uh, 
scout out monsters for you and pick up items so you don't have to loot them. But if you just double tap R, you just pick up everything off of a monster very quickly. I don't see any any need for a pet really. It's not costing you that much time to just tap R a bunch of times and loot everything real quick. We earned a title, Impater. That seems appropriate for the massacre we're bringing on these little imps right now. Ah, I see what he's doing. He said that we're weak and we need to get stronger. He wants us to grow stronger so he can probably brainwash us or take over our body and use our powers to his advantage or something. You may be my tutorial guide, little black demon, but you're not taking over my body after this tutorial. Get wrecked, little imps. Let me go ahead and snatch up all these loots. And we will continue on with our tutorial. Don't sneak attack me when I'm looking in my inventory. We got some new equips here. We got a smashed hat. It looks like I forgot my hat was on my chair and sat on it. We gotta fight some slightly bigger imps. They got tired of us picking on the little weak guys. That earthquake skill seems to do a lot of damage to these guys. And the bottom right there, you can actually see that it's trying to tell me uh, what combinations to use. Like, I'm not pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the keyboard. I'm actually using combinations of buttons to, to use the skills that I'm using. And double tapping to the side, forward, and back actually dodges out of the way. I know a lot of people don't like grinding to level up in MMOs, but grinding with this combat system actually makes it feel like you're not grinding at all because the combat in this game is so fun. It's not going to be the like the same thing over and over again because you can mix up your combos and pretty much put a bunch of different combos together and just have a lot of variety in your combat system. He wants me to destroy some of their statues that they have erected in their camps. And we finished that pretty quick. We'll go ahead and summon them back. Okay, we finished. We killed one. We have to go to the Western Guard camp and we're going to go ahead and auto run. I love games with auto run. What you got cooking there, soldier? Oh, he's got skills. That's what he's cooking. We're gonna learn some skills, I guess. Let's just randomly pick some cool ones, I guess, like this. Uh, can't pick fireball yet. We'll just go with these guys up here. 
That's my right click skill. Looks good to me. Nice apples. Do you expect me to eat this garbage? Princess, this isn't Heidel, you know. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Let's just finish here and go home. This place truly is super beautiful. sassy. It really doesn't suit me. I just want to get this done and return. We're gonna kill this goat. Oh my god, he didn't die. Oh, he's gonna fight back. I just randomly stumbled upon these wolves, so I'm just clearing them out real quick, trying to get some uh, experience. You can see in the top left, we're level 12 right now. to do be careful out there adventurer talking to people with gray question marks on the mini map jerky can be eaten as a substitute for recovery potions they give you uh, little knowledge tidbits and uh, it says they increase your knowledge base not sure what that is right now trust me he told me there's another imp captain T -t tiny nose told me where is he? Uh, uh, a cave. The imp cave. The search party? On standby. So it's in the northeast. You will go with him. Yes. Uh, there's two imp leaders. This won't be easy. I'm Captain Cliff, commander of the Western Guard Camp. Grand Chamberlain Jordine can't be trusted. But do you know Tiny Nose? It seems that an imp named Red Nose is making trouble around here. Ah, Red Nose is the culprit, not Tiny Nose. There are more dangerous ones around. If you want to learn more combat skills, go see Armstrong. Dude, what is your purpose? Why do you have so many options? I hope you cooperate with Fanny and Jamie. There we go, now we have a new quest. I was, this whole time I'm like, where's the where's the guy giving me the quest right now? I need some more quests. Uh, it's explaining yellow's available, blue's in progress, and red is quest complete. That makes sense, all right. Follow the navigation to the next quest giver, just like I have been for this whole entire time. Hello, quest giver. I am adventurer. Will you give me quest? You must be an adventurer. Do you need? A How did you know? The imps have stolen a lot of the. This place is cool. It looks like almost like an Egyptian esque like cave mine area. Must have led you, here. you have cool hair. I get creeped out easy, and I'm playing this game in the dark. And this little creepy guy give me the tutorial is just weird as hell. Eden, look at this. Is something wrong with the artifact? Could it somehow be your presence? You, though it's weak, you are possessed with dark energy. Oh, that makes sense now. It makes a lot of sense. It still hasn't awakened. Hey, tell us anything at all you can remember about the black energy. 
Ah, uh, we saw me stay away from them. They want to get rid of him, but he doesn't want to leave. Uh oh, he's doing bad stuff. It's like a Rubik's Cube, but only better. It seems the black energy has destroyed your memory. You better report this to the shrine. They want me to look at these weird, like, hieroglyphics on these pillars. And some of them are talking about Idana. And this guy's name is Eden. Thought that was kind of weird. Two more to go. That chick's buried under some rocks. That looks weird. This is an interesting little quest. Will the way. Remember. They want us to kill the tree spirits, and I have a lightning ability now. Like I was saying, uh, this one I press S and F together, and it just rains lightning from the sky. It's really cool. Couple more to go, and we'll be on our way to the next quest. We're picking us some potatoes. Gathering level up. Let's pick some more potatoes. Make potato chips. We are summoning something that we probably should not be summoning this does not look good i summoned it right on somebody's wagon whoa that's badass actually come here mr guy i need to kill you whoa a little hasty with the swings there I totally just missed that earthquake. Why is he immune to everything? I guess it only makes sense because he's a big demon. I'm sure I'm fighting this guy like completely wrong. And somehow I killed him and he's like getting dragged back to hell. Yeah, that's right, go back where you came from. He told me to do it. It's all the black the little black spirit's fault. Give me a cutscene. My friends, there's no need to think of alchemy as something esoteric. Alchemy begins with understanding the fundamental principles of all things. All things exist based on... Huh? What's happening? The staff is shaking! This device reacts when black energy is present. My friends, do not be afraid. It's a small amount of energy. Is a stranger among us by any chance? Yes, another one. As a tiki lava source and after that, insert the drop the inks kiss and then move. Oh, this happens every 
every single time I try to make room. She... Oh, oh, um, welcome. We're actually starting to get a hang of this uh, combat system. Now, if only I can figure out how to go in my UI and turn off the notifications that are on top of my screen. They are driving me absolutely insane. But this combat system is so fluid. No matter what skill you decide to use, it just fluidly fits into your combo. And I'm loving the witch class. We need to destroy their little teepees. Go away, man. I'm trying to kill your teepees over here. I gotta kill the big totem. And now, we will summon another one. Hopefully this guy's even bigger. Sounds like it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get my my fireball ready. And it totally shot my fireball off prematurely. He has a tail. And totally just slapped me down. I feel like this guy has even more magic defense than the last guy did. Just immune to everything. I don't get how they're immune and they just die. Strange. Strange things are happening to me. And I will name you Sir Donks a lot. Yep, we got a donkey. Thanks for putting your wagon you can either right in the way purchase. of this guy. Holy horses. No lady, I do not want to rent your shoes. What's wrong with you? What is with these reindeer people? Where do they come from? What even had to mate to create that? I finally found the fishing guy and bought me a fishing pole so I can start making money. And we finally hooked a fish. Holy cow, that took forever. We gotta get good, yep, and then we gotta do the button combination. Oh, that's easy. Bones! We hooked another fish. Hopefully it's an actual fish this time. And good, come on. And button combination. We got a fish! Alright guys, without further ado, thank you for watching Cutscenes R Us, I mean Black Desert Online. This game's really fun and I will be doing more parts, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. This is Butter Out.